a landmine squat. So when we say landmine, we just mean a barbell is propped into a corner where the one end is going to be the anchor, you have a weight on the other end and you're using it as a pivot. So when setting up for a landmine squat that is glute focused, you're going to take a bit of a sumo stance where your toes are pointed out, your feet are wider than hip width apart, and you're focusing still on more of a hip hinge of hips back, hips forward, but you're also adding a knee bend. So I'm going to stand over the barbell, interlace my fingers or wrap one hand over the other to hold on to it. You can also use a V grip if you have one of those, but to come down, bracing my core, I'm going to find where it's comfortable for me to load, take a wide stance, toes out. My core is braced so my low back does not work. I'm focusing on shifting my hips backwards, squeezing my glutes at the bottom of the squat, externally rotating my thighs, and I'm not coming up all the way here. You can if you would like, but I find I fatigue my muscles way better when I stay in more of the bottom two thirds here. So hips back, hips forward, externally rotate the thighs. If you want to do a full range, it would look like this. It's entirely up to you and what your coach has programmed. So the partial range only coming up this high, feeling a nice burn in my glutes already. Just from driving forward, and externally rotating. So try that. It is also a great superset if you do a landmine squat with a landmine RDL or deadlift.